What's up, people? Welcome to another episode of Soul Food Sundays. I know it's been a while. Happy New Year. I am so excited to be back with you guys. I needed a break, and I am so glad that I took one because it gave me an opportunity to just reflect and um, kind of reboot and then um, and experience a loss during that time. So it was like right on point for me to not have that extra um that extra responsibility of bringing forth a message on Sundays because I I very much needed that time to just collect myself and to um to grieve and things of that nature to plan and so um shout out to my brother Darius Mon I want to dedicate this um, episode of Soul Food Sundays to my bro. Let me tell you, since my bro has transitioned, man, he already about his business. Like, the visitation has been serious, and I'm just so proud and honored to have um, that connection with him. He, has, he is definitely around, and I feel that he's here with us now, and so, um, I am going to be bringing a message from the Angels of Abundance cards um, this week because as we all are starting off the new year, it's literally the third day of the year, uh, I'm sure that is one thing that is on everybody's mind. How can I be more abundant um, this year? We had such a rough year with 2020 um, that everybody, if you're not, should be trying to get themselves in alignment with what is transpiring, the shifts that are being made uh, in our consciousness and in the physical realm to be more abundant. And when I say abundant, that does not mean uh, what's in your bank account. It can include what's in your bank account, but baby, abundance is anything that having an excess of anything that is valuable to you and it doesn't even have to be um, excess if you have enough of what you value you are abundant Um, some may not may not agree but that is absolutely abundance for me so I say like right now I have more time than I've ever had in my life I've never imagined having this kind of time and for me financial freedom is having the time to do the things that I love or do what it is that I want to do being able to roll out of the bed when I naturally feel like it opposed to a time that I'm forced to do do it and still not have to worry about how my bills are going to be paid how there's a roof over my head or how I'm going to eat for me that is abundance when my needs and my wants um my needs are met and some of my wants are met. I'm good. I'm more than good. I'm great. And so in the spirit of gratitude, um, I just wanted to bring forth a message for you all that may help you as you are getting in alignment or staying in alignment with um, abundance. So um, you know what, how we do over here at Turquoise Majesty. We are absolutely going to pray because I do not believe that it is conducive to our highest good or our relationship with um, the higher power to ask for something if we have not already already given gratitude for what we have. So Father God, Mother Earth, ancestors and spirit guides, we come to you on the third day of January 2021 to tell you thank you, thank you, thank you for allowing us to reach this space and this place in our lives. Dear God, we ask that if any mind or heart is not clear, that you facilitate the work so that that may be done and so that we all can move into alignment with what it is that you are trying to bring forth in our lives that God place us in alignment with the shift that you are making not only in our lives but across the human consciousness that God we are just grateful for who you are we are thankful for this opportunity to connect with you we are grateful for our ancestors and spirit guides who stand in the gap for us dear God and we just ask that you bring forth the best message for the highest good for all who are under the sound of my voice at this time and also the collective amen I let's 
see what messages come through for us as we are we have ushered in a new year not knowing what is to come knowing that we do want to manifest some specific things in our lives god what message do you have for your people at this time as we are moving into this new year what message do you have for us that would better help us to get in alignment with abundance oh and that's the card that fell out when i opened the box would you look at that all right looks like we got a few of them um yep take divinely guided change declutter and successful funding successful funding is telling me that there's someone who's watching or listening who has an idea but that idea has not taken form in the physical realm because you may be having some doubts or fears about how to finance that idea. Um, this card is telling you not to worry about that. You have options. Options that you may not have explored or options that may not have come to you um, logically at this time. But whatever it is that you have in mind that you want to do, if finances... Um, are the issue that's a small small thing to a giant is what God is saying um, it can be done so we'll get further into it but that that immediately jumped out um, at me intuitively but we'll start with uh, take a divinely guided change if God is leading you to making some moves making some changes in your life you better listen <laughs> obedience to the most high god you better listen you better be obedient to the direction that god is leading you in because to every cause there is an effect and to every effect there is a cause you want to make sure that you're setting things in in motion as you are being divinely guided to or you will experience the other side of that you'll experience what using your free will to go against where god is leading you um, will take you and that'll come in the form of form of a lesson and I if you're listening to me you're probably of the age where you've experienced enough lessons to know that had you listened to where you were being divinely guided or had you been more in touch with your intuition at the time you could have avoided some lessons that you've learned no regrets but we all have those things that had we listened to God where God was pointing us to and moved in that direction, we could have saved ourselves some heartache and some strife and some loss of resources and um, headache um, had we done so. So we're definitely being divinely guided to listen to the changes that God is um, telling us to make in our lives. And it says here, all positive change and successful ventures involve a degree of risk. And you're ready to follow your divine guidance to new territories. As you leave behind that is which that which is comfortable and familiar, but no longer appropriate for you, you make room for new and more meaningful opportunities. This card is very much reminding me of um, the Fool card in the Tarot deck, which we will get into in the next episode of co-creating. Um, the Fool card being the very first card in that deck. And what the fool does is set out on a journey, taking a leap of faith, not knowing what is ahead, but knowing that he is being divinely guided to do so. And it's just a matter of trusting God enough to know, hey, come what may, I am protected. Um, so if if you all are having some some thoughts, some inklings, being guided, seeing some synchronicities, having some dreams... Um, being told to move in a certain direction in your life especially if it's something that is new to you if it's something that scares you you need to do it because it is a divinely guided chance I'm reading change and this say chance but the the G counter I mean the C counter look like a G but anyway take a divinely guided chance 
um, on fulfilling your dreams. Take a divinely guided chance on bringing those things that you have in seed form within you into fruition in this realm. Um, because what this card is saying here is that there are new and meaningful opportunities waiting on you on the other side. But you can't get there if you don't take that leap of faith. So there are um, more indescript messages in the book that I will share also. And I think this is very fitting for this time of the year, this season that we are in. Um, in many areas of our lives, we have a clean slate and we're expected to um, use it wisely to be good stewards of uh, where we are and what we have and who we have. And um, we're just at a point where it's like you're at the beginning of a marathon. Like I, I, I got nip say, it's a marathon, not a race. We're at the beginning of a marathon, and so we need to strategize. We need to make sure that we are meditating and connecting with our higher power in order to make sure that we are taking the best steps. And if you are being divinely guided to take a chance on, um, on yourself, to bet on yourself, I would say you absolutely should. Since this card encourages you to move forward with your inner guidance, even if you presently can't foresee how it would all work out. When you take a chance with the guidance that you are receiving, your actions are saying that you trust God and the angels. Placing our trust in the divine makes good sense since heaven can see our actions from a 360 degree perspective that we often lack. God and the angels can see the repercussions of our actions echoing into infinity. Whereas we are lucky to be able to accurately predict the ripple effect through the next day. Very few monumental and important tasks have been achieved by people who did not take some sort of risk. We know that it can be intimidating, but trust that you are being led toward a positive and abundant future. God and the angels are with you every step of the way, ensuring that you will only receive that which is for your highest good. The angels of abundance are not encouraging you to take needless risks or to behave recklessly. However, ensure that you are following your divine guidance, not some ego-based desire. Greed, anger, and lust are not the emotions of the angels, and they will never guide you with those feelings. True non-ego-based guidance comes in the form of love, inspiration, and giving. You can be assured that if you are receiving guidance that does not come from a place of deep and powerful love, it is not true guidance, and you should not follow it. You can always ask God to help you to know if your guidance is true or not and you will receive clear signs to answer you. Man, that message packs such a powerful punch. Because for one, I hear God saying, our angels are working on our behalf. And if we are to co-create with um, our spiritual team and bring into fruition those things that um, will help us on our journey to be better vessels um, and to be creative and to um, manifest blessings, not only for ourselves, but, but for others. We got to check in. We got to make sure that we are always in tune with the messages that are coming forward for us, whether they are numbers or, or signs, whatever synchronicities you might experience. We got to make sure that our minds and hearts are clear so that we can better be in um, a position to energetically uh, understand the messages that are coming forth for us. That's why it's so important that we declutter. You got to declutter and detox your body, your home, your mind. You can't think clear if you got a cluttered mind. If you have scattered energy, your thoughts and your energy is all over the place. You can't get much of nothing accomplished that way because clarity does not reside in mess. It can come from mess once you attempt to clean it up, but um, it can't stay there. So it's so important that um, as we are being guided divinely to take a chance that we declutter, that we declutter our homes, that we declutter our bodies. I know for me as an intuitive being, as an empath, it's so important that I'm mindful of what I put into my body and what I eat these days 
I can't even eat certain things. A lot of meat, I cannot eat because it affects me um, energetically. I mean, I can eat it. I can put it in my mouth, but I feel like shit afterwards. And my mind is cluttered. I can't think straight. My, I don't have the energy to do things physically the way I would if I had eaten uh, better. And I don't discern things well when I have consumed um, foods or substances that my body rejects. My body is straight up rejecting things at this point because I've elevated and my energy is, is clear and pure and I'm being called to be a channel. Uh, and so I have to be mindful of what I'm putting in in my body and that it's not something that causes disease in my body, which when you break down that word, you got dis-ease, meaning my body, if I'm putting things in my body that are toxic, my body is not going to be at ease. It's going to be in a chaotic state, which then produces disease, um, sickness, laziness, lethargy. Um, there's so many like negative, um, negative, uh, so much of a negative impact that that has. And as someone who has a, um, I wouldn't say a bad relationship with food, but it could be better. And I'm working on that. Uh, I have to be mindful of that. And then in that same way with my home, I cannot expect positive energy to flow through my home if there's clutter, if it's dirty, if it's nasty, if it's filthy. Um, I cannot expect to have pure thoughts, to have good, good thoughts, good creative energy coming through, flowing through my body to my brain and out through my, my body if my mind is cluttered. And that is where meditation comes into play because it's very much a great way to declutter your mind. Also, writing is a great way to declutter your mind, which writing is just a form of uh, meditation. Anything that allows you to reflect or to, um, to just get your thoughts out, any kind of creative expression, is good for decluttering. So this message says you'll feel better and more focused if you'll take the time to clear away clutter from your living and workspace. Donate what you can to help others who may need your items. Be sure to keep your schedule uncluttered as well. That is something that's very important because we live in a society where we are told and taught that we have to be busy, busy, busy all the time and that we also have to have a bunch of stuff. I was watching this documentary the other day called uh, Minimalism on Netflix and it was so good because it was talking about how we buy these things to compensate for emptiness within us and it doesn't work. And the next thing you know, you just got a house full of stuff and you still feel bad. You still don't feel fulfilled. So it's so important that we prioritize decluttering. And the message for declutter says... This card is a strong message to clear away the excess from your home, work environment, and calendar. A cluttered space or schedule translates to a cluttered mind and can prevent you from focusing. All too often, we accumulate excess possessions. How much of your energy and attention is directed toward looking after your material belongings? The angels of abundance encourage you to clear away the clutter in your life. Only keep those items that actively serve you or make you happy in some way. If you're holding on to an item out of guilt, obligation, or habit, now is the time to get rid of it. This is especially true if the item reminds you of painful experiences. Clutter can go beyond possessions as well, such as having false friends in your life who drain your resources or saying yes to too many appointments. If your surroundings or schedule is cluttered to the point where you cannot focus effectively, please ask God and your angels for inspiration on how to clean out the excess and then follow their guidance without hesitation or delay. This message is saying to us that, like I said, decluttering and detoxing needs to be a priority at this point. How are you going to hear where you are being uh, divinely guided to take a chance if you have so many distractions and so many things in the way and your energy is not clear, your body is not uh, clear and clean? You want to make sure that if you have people or relationships in your life that are not in alignment with where it is that you are trying to go if they bring you down and drain your energy you want to declutter so this is a good time to assess where you are in life who and what is useful to you who and what is not useful and make those necessary steps to uh, 
Get rid of it. Get rid of it. And I'm not saying, like, you know, just flat out cut people off or whatever. But some people, like, you have to know what place they serve, what purpose they serve in your life. And then, like, consciously uh, think about how you want to deal with them going forward. Do you want to step back? Do you want to step it up? Uh, your efforts and your investment in that relationship do you want to divest or do you want to stay where you are with that relationship because it's in a healthy uh, space I personally don't want to be involved in anything with anybody that is not going to grow that's my personal belief because the direction that I'm going in is requiring growth not only from me but from everybody around me and so I am moving forward more mindful of who brings what to the table and I do not mean material things I value especially nowadays I value things and people that are not necessarily materialistic or what they bring to the what tangible item they bring to the table I'm looking for who gonna show up who thinks enough of me to show up on time what attitude they're showing up with how authentic they are when they show up um, how they are showing up for themselves as you elevate, there are so many different uh, aspects of your relationships with people and yourself that change. And so um, that takes me to the next message, which is successful funding. Your idea is divinely guided and supported by the same infinite wisdom of God that gave you the idea. Do not allow money concerns to prevent you from turning it into reality. Crowdfunding, partnerships, and other investments are available to help you. So as I said in the beginning, because this is the card that really stood out to me, if there's something that you want to do, if there is some venture that you want to take up, some creative project, some entrepreneurial um, venture, uh, if you want to go back to school but you're worried about the money, there are options out there for you. You need to pray about that thing and get in tune with um your, your spiritual team so that they can point you in the right direction so they can give you divinely guided um, um, messages toward moving in that direction also you have your free will that you can use to do the research we live in a time where information has never been more accessible than now so opposed to scrolling on Instagram all day Google ways to fund your idea. Talk to some of your people. If those people who you don't want to uh, get rid of as you are decluttering in your life, those people who stay, who make the cut, talk to them about your, your idea and, and, and pick their brains about um, some of the ways that you can make it come to fruition. You'd be surprised how many people are willing to roll up their sleeves and help you because that is what partnership is about. It's not about your idea of how it should be or how you you want it to be it's about uh communicating with those around you be it in the spiritual realm or in the physical about what it is that you want and being open to receiving guidance about how to get there you may find that you're you're very much on point or you may find that you're not you know what i'm saying that there are other things that you should consider but this card is definitely telling you that you can have what it is that you want to uh, manifest and if money is the issue then there are options available for you so let's see what the book has to say about successful funding I know I have some uh, ideas and some things that I want to bring forth especially as it relates to turquoise majesty and every time that I have worried about how I'm going to pay for something God has come through every time God has made it available for me because I've made it a habit of not making moves without consulting my spiritual team, without consulting my ancestors, without consulting the higher source that uh, through whom I, I live, move, and have my being. Because they got more power than I got. They know more than I got. They know what, what's on the other side of the mountain for me. They know what's at the end of the race for me. I don't. So why wouldn't I trust them to lead me to my end goal? Um, it says, this card signals that your project will be successfully funded and your hard work is being rewarded. When this card comes to you, 
It's a sign that your idea is divinely inspired. It will help many people once it is materialized into form and the angels will be with you each step of the way. In many cases, this card guides you to connect with the crowdfunding website to gain financial support, connections and confidence to pursue your ideas and inventions. An internet search for crowdfunding will lead you to various options. I had said that. Many well-known and successful products were born on sites such as GoFundMe.com and Indiegogo.com, and yours can be too. Take some time to read about other crowdfunding campaigns to familiarize yourself with the process. You need to have the courage to post your pitch and then spread the word to others. There's also a message for you to be extra organized with your paperwork during the funding process. Take your time before signing contracts and work with a trusted professional such as an attorney or accountant if you're more of an artist than a business person. That is absolutely important. You want to make sure that the legalities of your ventures are taken care of. Make sure that our contracts are in place and that you are operating um, within the boundaries set for whatever genre uh, that you are working in. Just make sure you're on the up and up so that nothing comes behind you and bites you in the butt. I professionally work with grants and contracts and know the importance of um, looking them over, making sure that they are accurate and in alignment with what it is that you have in mind, word for word. Um, so be that a, a venture, a relationship, or whatever. You just want to make sure that you are looking deep before you leap. Um, you don't want to allow money to be the thing that stops you from doing, taking the divinely guided chance that God is leading you to take. And you just want to declutter, whether it's um, fear, any bad habits, uh, be they um, bad relationship habits, you know, you don't know how to talk to people, you don't communicate well, you talk too much, <laughs> you're talking to the wrong people, you're entertaining the wrong people, you're making yourself too available. All of those things are clutter when you have a goal to reach, when you have a de destination to get to because they are distractions. So I hope that this message has found you all well. I am hoping for a very fruitful and abundant 2021 for you all. Um, stay tuned to the things that are unfolding for Turquoise Majesty. I thank you all for your support to this point. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe if you have not already. Tell your friends and your, all your people what's going on over here at Turquoise Majesty because this is only the beginning. Um, I appreciate you all. And with all of that being said, peace.